Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're going to be playing the Game of Thrones theme tune. Thanks to Fred in Belgium for suggesting this one. It's a lovely little tune and it's really got something for everyone. So beginners will learn how to play single notes by playing this tune. But also if you're a intermediate or if you're trying to get your playing to that next level, there's an option for a bent note, a draw bend, and there's also an option for an overblow. Another great thing about this tune is that we're going to learn how to play in third position by playing in the this song. So if you're not sure what third position is or what that means, don't worry, we'll talk about that. You just need a C harmonica. Now if you wanted to play along with the tune itself, uh, the title sequence of the TV show, you would need a B flat harmonica. Just a heads up there. But don't worry, for this video lesson you'll just need your C harmonica. If you did want to play it in another key on a different harmonica, you can just take the tab, play the exact same tab, the exact same holes and blow direction and then just play it on a different key harmonica, but we'll be using a C. So one of the great things about this tune is that we can learn how to kind of back ourselves up a little bit. So not just play the melody, but play some background playing. So the first thing we're going to do, by going through line by line of the tab, we're going to start with a little introductory, what I would call uh, a vamp, I suppose, and it sounds like this. So if you listen to the song, there isn't just a melody, if you like. I mean, it's a classical piece. So, you know, you've got the strings and you've got the whole orchestra, if you like. There's a little introduction to the song. So I've just put intro on the tab and I've put to repeat this line because it's just the same four notes over and over. So it's five draw, six blow, six draw, four blow. Okay. Lovely little um, kind of repeating riff there and it just starts the tune off. If you're more of an intermediate player, you could try playing this in the lower octave. The tab isn't on the screen, but it would be... Uh, what would it be? <laughs> Which is a second bend on two, then two draw, then three draw, second bend, and then one draw. But I'll assume we're all uh, beginners, so we'll play. If you're an absolute beginner, the tricky bit of that might be the six draw to the four draw, because you're jumping a hole. Um, just take it nice and slow. So, in terms of timing, we'd have one, two, three, four. And timing-wise, this is a really interesting tune. There's some funny little bits in it, or at least, to me, they didn't seem natural. They were surprising bits. So it's quite a good one to practice in terms of practicing your timing. So that's another advantage of the tune. So part one, if we're getting to the actual melody proper now, it's something like this. Okay, so that's part A. I'm aware there's lots of different parts and they must look a bit confusing on the screen. Don't worry, we're going to go through it bit by bit. So... So that is six draw, four draw, and then five draw, six blow, six draw, four draw, five draw, six blow, five blow. Now the surprising bit for me about this is the middle bit comes a bit later than you'd expect. I was almost expecting when I heard it, ba 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 ba, but it's quite late. It's ba 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 da 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 da. They're kind of almost behind where I'd expect. Da 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 da. Okay, four. And again, four. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's still messing with my mind a little bit. That was a little bit out of time. Um, 
so that's the first line if you like so to start this tune off if you're thinking of it as a performance piece you maybe play a few times around that little intro and then into the melody so something like this That sort of thing, okay? Um, if you were trying to fill this out completely, um, you could put some fill options. Now, I, I put fill option there on the tab. All that means is this This is an optional line that you could put between lines A and B, okay? It's a variation of that intro, and it sounds like this. Rhythmically the same as the intro, but it's different notes. Now it does include a bend, so don't worry about it if you're if you're not bending uh, notes yet. But I've put four blow, four draw, five blow, and then the three draw second bend. So okay. If you did want to play it, but you haven't got the bend, you could. I'm just leaving a gap, and I was actually articulate. I was going Tah, just to fill the gap, but um, you could just miss that note out. Anyway, it's only a fill, so you don't necessarily need it. So part B, or at least in this tab, I've called it part B1, and I'll explain why later, is this. Okay. And that is six blow, four blow, five draw, five blow, six blow, four blow, and then five draw, five blow, four draw. Okay? So if you weren't doing the fill parts, A and part B1 together would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So, at this point, um, there's another fill option uh, which you could play, which sounds like this. Okay, so it's the three draw semitone bend, and then it's four blow, four draw, and then three draw uh, full step bend, so two half steps. Um, again, only if you're bending uh, would you be able to play those notes. Um, but don't worry if you can't, it's, it's just another fill. So it would come after part B1 and it would sound like this. Okay, so it would just be a little fill there. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. So you play parts A and B1 after each other, whether you're doing the fills or not. Um, and you would repeat that three times. So you'd go A, B1, A, B1, A, B1. But, well, on the third time, actually, you'd go to part B2, okay? So it'd be A, B1, A, B1, and then A, B2, okay? So B2 sounds like this. Ba ba da 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 ba ba. Okay, so that's six blow, four blow, and then four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, five blow, four blow, four draw. Okay, so if I play parts A and B2 together, it sounds like this one. Two, three, four. And then B2. Okay, great. So, what I'm going to do now, um, I'm not going to worry uh, about the fills, because I know not everyone will be playing them. Um, 
I'm just going to play the intro, so I'll just play maybe four times around that set of four notes, and then I'm going to play A, B1, and then I'll play A and B2. Now, there would be another A and B1, but, you know, you get the idea. Um, if you're playing it in full, you'd do that twice. So here we go, from the start. One, two, three, four... Back to A. And now B2. So part two only has two lines, and then we've got an outro we're going to look at as well. So line C sounds like this. Okay, there is a bend in there, we'll talk about that when we get to it. The little dots after each of those notes, that's just my own way of uh, describing to myself that those notes uh, last, you know, a couple of beats. Um, so don't worry about those extra little dots. But we've got eight draw, seven blow, six draw, four draw, six draw, and then five draw, then three draw semitone bend, half step bend. So if you get in a bend, Fair enough. Uh, if not, maybe just miss that note out. Um, you're just not going to be able to play it uh, for now. So maybe just leave that in brackets and you can always add it in later. Then we've got five draw, six blow, six draw. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay. And then uh, part D is similar, but the last few notes just alter. So it sounds like this. Okay. And again, it's more, it kind of resolves um, towards the end of that last line. Um, because, and this is important, we're playing in third position here, okay? So we're not actually playing in the key of C, we're playing in the key of D minor. So our resolving note, our note that we return to that feels like a finishing note, is the four draw, because that's our D note. So if you haven't done it before, this is the first time you're playing in third position. If you're familiar with third position, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so those last two lines, let's try those together. So I'm just gonna do part two, okay? So we'll start with line C. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. So that's part C and D together. There is a little outro. That's kind of the end of the melody. But if you want to put this little outro in, it's a bit like the intro and it's a bit like the fills. Rhythmically, it's the same again. But this actually involves an overblow. Um, you could play it further down, but you need bends. And I did play it, um, or I chose to play it in the upper register using an overblow because in the song itself it's higher than the melody so I wanted to pick one that was higher up there to respect that so okay got a sticky eight draw there um so it's six overblow and then seven blow eight draw six draw Okay.
Okay, so I think in the tune it sort of plays it three times in full and then you just get just the six overblow and the seven blow. Okay, um, so that would be a little bit of an outro. So that would come after that last line. Um, Something like that. Just a nice little way to finish it off if you want to, but no pressure with that one. So, what I'll do now is I'll just play it uh, in full, if you like. So I'll play from the start, I'll play the intro, I'll play parts 1 um, with AB, or AB1, AB1, and then AB2, and then I'll play parts uh, C and D of part two and then I'll also play the outro just to finish so uh, join in if you, if you fancy playing the whole thing in full with me one two three four A and B one again. Now A and B two. B two. Now we're on to part two, so C and D. Okay, great. So that's the thing in full. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Do give me your comments, your questions, your requests for future lessons, please, as well. Do uh, remember to subscribe. I'm going to be back with another lesson next week. Find me on Facebook and Twitter where I've got exclusive offers on there as well. Enjoy this one and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.